How to make flashcards. Printable flashcards are a great way to save money when teaching English at kindergarten, preschool or at home. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how you can get your flashcards out of your computer and into your classroom. The first step is to visit flashcardsforkindergarten.com to download the hundreds of free flashcards. Once you are on the site, there are two ways to download the flashcards, in PDF or as JPEG files. To download the PDF versions, click on the buttons that have a PDF label. You can print directly from the web page or if you like, you can also download them to your computer. Once you've downloaded the file, open it and select print. Make sure you select the right fit to page option to ensure that no edges are cropped during printing. This may be different depending on your computer and your printer. Use your multi-page options to choose how many flashcards you would like to print on each page. Once you are ready, just click print. I will try to put some Amazon affiliate links in the description for people who are looking to buy a new printer or a new laminator. How to print the JPEG flashcards. To download the JPEG versions, click on the buttons without the PDF label. The files are compressed into a zip file, so you may need some extra software to extract it. I recommend WinRAR or 7-Zip. Some computers might already have extraction software installed, so before you download the other software, try to open the file first. Once you have downloaded and extracted the files, you will have a folder full of flashcards. These files can be printed or feel free to put them on your smart device for extra flexibility when at home. When printing, Select all the files using Shift and your left mouse button. After you've selected the files, right click and choose Print. Use your multiple page options to choose how many flashcards you would like to print on each page. Once you are ready, just click Print. Make sure you selected the right fitting options to ensure that no edges are cropped during printing. This may be different depending on your computer and your printer. Laminating your flashcards. Laminating is the most crucial step for your new flashcards. Laminating your cards will stop your cards from getting torn or stained. It will enable them to be used for more physical activities too, like playing on the floor or outside. Laminating will also enable you to draw on the flashcards with dry erase markers. The markers can easily be erased using a tissue or alcohol gel. By far the best reason to laminate your cards is that you can attach magnets onto the back to add a new level of interactivity for your students. Make your lessons more student-centered and make reading and spelling activities more fun. Backing your flashcards. If you plan to do any games or activities with the cards, I recommend backing the cards with colour paper. This extra step in the process will make your cards look more professional and will make them even stronger. It will also stop your cards from becoming see-through. Cutting your flashcards. To cut your flashcards you can easily use scissors, but if you plan on printing a lot of flashcards then it might be beneficial to have a guillotine or a paper cutter. I will try to put more affiliate links in the description. Finally, make sure you trim the corners so they're safe for children. You can even buy a corner trimmer online. And that's it. Please let me know in the comments if you need any more help or if you have any questions. 
Goodbye.